Hello everyone and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. My name is Melanie V. We are now on episode 41 and day 81. Okay, so we got our expansion last time. So we moved things around a bit. So we got all of our fridges over here now in the corner. And I definitely want to get some more and put them along this wall. Look at all the space we got back here. And we move some of our shelves around over here. And everything is pretty much full. I think I'll need to get another shelving unit to go right here. Obviously. But let's go ahead and get things started for today. Shop is open. Our checkout is closed. And let's make sure to get our bills paid. Done and done. So one thing we will need to get is one more shelf. Not that we need it today. But actually we can't even afford one. Because I think those cost like 200 Yeah. We are short about $2.94 right now. <laughs> so no shelving unit for us just yet. But once sales start, we will be able to afford one. And I wanted to get some more overstock items, but we ran out of money, as usual. So we're going to have to wait to be able to do that. But we did spend a chunk of money last time, so that's why we couldn't really afford as much as I would like. But things are looking okay for now. So the next thing we want to get for our license is probably something that's going to use some of these uh, fridge. So I'm going to put the fridges back here. Okay, folks, come on up. We can open up our till. There we go. Who's ready to be served? Okay, she chose to go to that guy instead of coming here. That's fine. My feelings aren't hurt. Ma'am, I can help you here. Okay, you're not ready to go yet? Guess we'll just wait here. But it definitely looks more spacious in here. And our first customer just wants a pizza. That's it, bud. Are you sure? Okay. Color 50 change. And there you go. Come on up, folks. Ma'am, ma'am, you see me here? She chose to go in the line that had a bunch of people already in it. How rude. Well, now she has to wait even longer. That was her own choice. But we can help this gentleman here. Oh, he's got a big order. Look at all that chicken. So that's $140 exactly perfect. There you are, sir. Have a lovely day. Thanks for using my checkout instead of the other one. Well, today it seems like things aren't as busy. Hopefully things pick up, but we'll continue serving up some customers. Okay, well, it is after 9 p.m. Still very, very busy. But we've been doing good overall. Um, 88.25, please, sir. Lots of big purchases today. And we're already at like 3,700 on the day. I like it. 28.25. We'll definitely need to get a few items restocked. Uh, 9150 change. Okay. <laughs> That's a big order she had. Paid me with a $200 bill. That's pretty wacky. Maybe it was just two $100 bills. Who knows? And 101.75. There you go. Okay, things are starting to wind down a bit. There's a quarterback for ya. Have a lovely day.
This is a fairly decent size order, 123. And let's give you seven dollars in change. Dollar fifty back. Here you go, ma'am. Okay, we're almost to our last customer. Finally, this has been a long, tiresome day. We need a break. And 50 cents. There you go, ma'am. Have a good night. And here he is. Our last customer of the day. That is going to be $1.75 change for you. $118.25. Okay, we can work with that. There you go. Um, I think it's time we close up. Store close. Nobody here. Okay, let's see what we need to replenish. We probably should get some more pasta. Yeah, we're kind of running low. We kind of have potatoes all over the place. Maybe we should have potatoes on all of the bottom racks. Uh, we need some more coffee too. Some more of the dark coffee. Coffee, pasta. What else? Um, maybe more toilet paper and some of the cleaning stuff. Okay, let's go get some of those stuff into our cart. Okay, we need the red pasta. We need the coffee. We need some of the dish cleaner. Uh, where is the dish cleaner? We also need the stuff. That, there we go. Uh, we'll do some more toilet paper. Um, I kind of feel like we should buy more flour. Because flour seems popular. We'll buy one of each. What else do we need? We only have a couple space left in our cart. For tonight. Uh, definitely need some more chicken. Oh, we're gonna run out of cola too. And water. Well, chicken, cola, and water. We don't have enough space in our cart for all of those items. Chicken, cola. Um, what is the other one called? Turco? Yeah, this is what we need, but we can't get it right now. We'll get it tomorrow. Turco and water has to be added to the list. But we might as well go close up the shop for today. So, how do we do? 56 customers, not bad. 7 complaints about pricing. 0 complaints about missing products. Finally! Okay, so we got 462 points. Uh, income for today, 4601. Very nice. So, potatoes, beer, blonde ale, and pepper. Let's change that. Potatoes, the beer, blonde ale. Um, is that in the fridge? Yeah, this is at 3.75. I think we can get a little bit of a markup on this. What was the other item? Pepper. I just about forgot. So we're going to have to reduce our price on this. So let's go with $9. Not too much. That's just a quarter less. Um, And we should go ahead and purchase some stuff. Oops. Uh, let's get this as well. We needed some water. Let's take that. Now I'm gonna have to put these on the shelf for the twins to load these up. So let's get these added. Okay, looks like the guys are just about finished loading up stuff. Okay, what else do we need here? Oh, we need more kegs. Definitely. Mayo. Why don't we get some of that too? 
Anything else for the fridge? Hmm. We got the water. Oh, we need some more of this cheese. Yeah. Let's get some of those. So, mayo, cheesy stuff, kegs. Um, definitely already got the water. Mayo. Oops, I didn't click. There we go. Cheese. It was the orangey looking cheese. And some kegs. Ta-da! Let's take one of those. Let's do two of those. Um, I'm gonna double check the deep freezers one more time. Cones are looking good. The crab sticks are good. Chicken is fine. Pizza, we're definitely good on that. Fries and the other pizza too. Yeah, those are good too. Yeah, we still have a lot of products on ourselves considering how much we actually made for yesterday. Maybe we'll get a milk, some bleach, and drum roll please, some powdered sugar. Milk, bleach, powdered sugar. That sounds like a good combination for poison. So milk, the shelf kind. Did that go in? Milk? No, it did not. Click. Bleach. And some sugar, powdered sugar. That's it. This is what we want. Um, I need to press purchase. <laughs> You know what? We're doing all this stuff. We can open this store because we're not actually out of anything right now. Um, did I not hit purchase? I hope I didn't hit empty cart. Oh, that's not even a thing. It's not. There we go. So we'll have to get all this stuff onto the shell. I'm just going to put things in empty spots. The stalkers can get it all sorted out. They're pretty smart that way. And this can go on the shelf as well. There we are. And maybe for next time we can get actually a whole bunch more overstock. Oh, I wanted to buy a shelf unit, didn't I? I didn't get that. I'm not going to order it on its own, though. It's going to cost, like, $2 shipping. Who has a dollar to waste? Not I. It's never good to buy one single item. Always buy at least three. Okay, milk, you can go there. Yeah, our shelves back here are really sparse. Definitely might end up a running out of things today or close maybe not actually run out but we might get close if we get close that's fine just as long as we don't actually run out of things oh i didn't close my tail um i guess i can go serve this customer but i'm gonna turn on our lights did you not see there's no one here but there's a person right over there but you chose this still anyway. Okay. Uh, 31.50. There you are. Okay, now everyone's choosing to go to the other guy now that I'm standing here. People are so rude. <laughs> okay, well, we'll wait here and see how well we do for customers. Hopefully, we make lots and lots of cash. Well, today has been a very slow day. People are just slowly coming up to the counters. Put a few things at a time. Not very many big spenders today, that's for sure. 
but maybe we'll actually close up the store at 9 p.m. tonight. Who knows? Maybe I'll close my tail up after this customer. There you go, ma'am. Yeah, we'll close our tail. Store closed right at 9 p.m. That's amazing. And we can open back up for now. Come on up, ma'am. We're happy to help you right here. $70 change? What? Uh-oh, we're out of pasta and we ordered pasta even. Actually, we weren't even out of pasta until this lady now got checked out. That's crazy. Fifty-eight twenty-five though. And she complained about the pasta too. She had pasta. Wow. Just wow. Some people. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thanks for not complaining about pasta. That is going to be 1750 change for you. That is too much. There you are. So, $48. Have a good night, sir. Okay, this is going to be the last customer, I think. And her total comes to... Whoa, where did all this stuff come from? Oh, where did that lady come from? Oh my goodness, over $200. 20325 Um, yeah, we'll, we'll accept your money. 203.25 There you are. Thank you, ma'am. Have a lovely evening. Oh, there's quite a few people in his line. Mr. Slowpoke. So, yeah. We're going to have to order some things. Oh, it wasn't pasta that we were out of. Oh, it's a different type of pasta. Okay. I guess I was wrong. We're so close on the coffee as well. All this stock is going to be replenished tomorrow, of course. So we definitely don't want to get another license just yet. Maybe tomorrow we will. We're close on the chicken but did not run out, thankfully. So we actually did pretty good on a lot of things. We do have a bill to pay today. And some rent. Let's do that. And that. And... Are all the customers gone for today? Yeah, we can go ahead and close off the shop. So, only 52 customers. So that's four down from yesterday. Five people complained about the pasta, I guess. <laughs> okay, so 37.47 for income and net profit 28.75. Not bad. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.